What is up, Credits? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movies slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again, guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So, in today's video, we're going to be building Finn McMissile from the movie Cars 2, which is mainly based on the Peerless GT, crossed with the Aston Martin DB5, and a few other British cars from the late 1950s as well. Now in general, Finn McMissile is obviously a reference to James Bond and his Aston Martin DB5 with all the gadgets like oil slick, etc. So for this build, we are going to be using the JB700W, which costs just under $1.5 million, which is pretty expensive. So alternatively, you can also use the regular JB700, which costs only $350,000, although that one doesn't have any functioning weapons. And lastly, you can also use the Casco, but if we consider the bigger picture, I think the JB700 is definitely the way to go. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for Fidemic Missile from the movie Cars. Alright, Finn McMissile, let's do it. Pretty simple one, this one, but you know. Uh, we got armor. I always do that for all my builds. Max armor, brakes, engine, and all that. Uh, do, 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 lights. So I, I, I looked through most of the scenes in the film, and even the the your nighttime scene from the, from the beginning of the film, um, I, I, we never see his headlights on. So I guess this one you could just use your imagination. I'd probably just leave him stock, honestly. So leave that stock. Uh, plate. Now he did have a um, plate on the car, so it was 314 FMCM, which I've replicated here already since we have the plate creator now, so went ahead and did that. You don't have to do it, but just, just a little detail I thought was nice to see, and it was a black background, um, so I'll do the black, even though it does have a yellow font, but I think it looks a bit closer. Respray. So this is by far the most challenging for me. I spent multiple hours trying to get a custom crew color that would be close. But most of the shades of this grayish blue color were were, um, were sort of blacklisted. I tried the HTML with the hex and all that. Many different variations of the color. It just wasn't working out. Um, I even and then I tried lighter colors, but then the blue was just too light. I tried everything you can think of <laughs> for multiple hours. Even discussing it with some of my buddies, and we 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 just kind of gave up. Um, so yeah, the 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 closest to me um, is going to be metallic. And then we go down here to the blue area, and you want to put on here the nautical blue. We're not done yet. And then for pearlescent, this one's up to you. Um, you can do an ice white pearl, which you'll see here. It brightens it up a ton. Boom. Very close. Obviously, in general, it, it is a shade uh, too dark, I would say. Um, in direct sunlight, it does look a bit better. Uh, but by far the closest we have in the game um, using the existing colors. Um, or you can also go with, scroll down here, you can go with a diamond blue pearl, also looks really good, but I think it's just too much blue in there personally, um, so in general I think ice white is the uh, the way to go, So, or you can do frost white as well, frost white also works nicely, but the, the white pearl on the, the, the car was so intense, I, I, think, we, I think the ice white is, is the way to go, plus to just brighten up the color in general, um, so that's what we're going to do there. But yeah, as I talked about earlier, you know, it's sort of the uh, Peerless GT, kind of crossed with the Aston Martin DB5 in some areas. Um, but yeah, all right. Ice White Pearl. Um, Kreblin 4, this car goes on the hood. Okay. Continuing to secondary weapons. So in the movie, he did use Oil Slick, the famous scene where this kind of goes flying off the, uh, <laughs> the side of the ship into the water. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely going to do the Oil Slick there. I don't think I remember him using Spikes. And, um, any scene from the movie? I'm trying to think, but I don't. I don't think so. I remember different bombs and stuff, but I don't. I don't remember any spikes. Uh, I know. I know the oil stick was for sure. So we'll do that. Suspension. So this one's up to you. I mean, Fib McMissile. Um, I would say he, he definitely didn't sit this high. I think this is way too high. Um, so um, I think personally, you, you're good with um, lowered or street suspension somewhere around there. Even though street's a little low. I would say lowered suspension is probably the way to go, so we'll do that. That one's all personal preference. Obviously, all the, the cars from the movie cars, you know, they express themselves by moving around and stuff. So, 
it, it, it's a bit um, it's all based on what what you prefer transmission um, turbo pretty sure the car was not turbocharged um, you know all personal preference so we're just we're just gonna skip it for now weapons so he did have the machine guns but the machine guns came out of the um, the fenders of the side vent there on the front fender um, definitely not up on the top of the fenders there like this but that's up to you you can keep them concealed or you can do them um, sticking out there I'm just gonna go this route so I'll put the guns there wheels so believe it or not the stock wheels are actually the closest in my opinion by, by quite a substantial margin especially the size um, now you could go to the lowrider category chrome and then you can choose uh, the wired right here which is sort of like the same one just a little bit bigger uh, but personally I think that the stock is perfect the size the, the design of the wheel I think I think that's a hundred percent it so I'm just gonna keep that windows um, as usual you know all the, the windows from the movie cars were sort of like um, masked because you know the car is alive so uh, I think limo tint is the way to go to try to hide the driver as much as possible and that's all the options there all right let's take it for a drive Fick McMissile I wish this car had more customization but Finn in general didn't really have that many unique attributes in terms of visual customization so I think I think this is plenty honestly I think I think the reference is definitely there see this color in the sunlight it looks it looks a lot better you can see how much it brightens up there especially in direct sunlight look at that yeah it definitely looks um, a bit closer than it does in the shade interior here I keep forgetting this car has the generic muscle car interior eh, is what it is all right floor it lots of wheel spin this car is quick I mean, it's, it's not a slow car by any means I've, I've used this one for also the, um, the James Bond DB5 build as well it's a fun car to drive always liked it sounds great looks fantastic and I think if you have this plate and you have this color I'm sure a lot of the um, the enthusiasts <laughs> uh, will, will know exactly what it is. A couple corners here. Um, now let's throw. We have the oil slick mine right on the D-pad. You can see it's there. And then if a car crosses over it, or you get hit by an SUV, and <laughs> boom, there goes the Voltic. Got it. Uh, if I do it here myself, I lose complete control of the car. Complete control. <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> kind of funny the way that works. Love that. Love to see it. And you, and you saw it in my initial um, movie scene intro as well. That was fun. Uh, but yeah, and then we got the machine guns. Put this here. Look at that. First person here. Oh, I, I should have done that in front of the police station. That's my mistake. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this is cool. I think I think this is a a fantastic car to own in general. Um, and since it basically has very little customization, um, you can sort of just change the color on the plate whenever you want, you know, just to have a, uh, you can do like a DB5 build or, or just, you know, the, um, you know, James Bond DB5 build or Finn McMissile just by the color. So very simple to change up whenever you want. But yeah, fantastic car. Let's go ahead and pull over here and open all the doors and stuff. Hopefully the cops don't see us here. I don't think so. So... There it is. Yeah, that color looks fantastic. There's a cop coming up here. Oh, we lost them actually. Look at that. Nice. Okay. So, there it is. Let's open the doors and stuff here. Vehicle doors. Let's go all. Nice, nice, nice. Is that a V12 engine model? Okay. Interior, trunk. Yeah, I mean it looks good. I think this is a a great buy for sure. I mean, yes, it is. It is very expensive. I mean, alternatively, you can also use the regular JB700 and save yourself a ton of money. So you don't have to get this one for this build. I know the weapons and gadgets are cool and stuff, but is it really a million dollars worth in terms of difference? I I, I don't know. That's uh, it's definitely questionable. Plus, the upgrades themselves are not free. <laughs> <laughs> so you, it comes with no none of the gadgets then you have to add them on it the, the slick and the gun so it's an extra expense to I mean over a million dollars for that it's all you know whether you think it's worth it or not but anyways guys hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and of course let me know 
what movie slash TV show vehicle you want to see me do next, and I'll see you in the next one.